This is the Pooja and Gurdip podcast from 98.1 CHFI Studios in Toronto, Canada. Hey Toronto, this is Ed Sheeran. This is Kelly Clarkson. Hi, this is Brian Adams. This is Adele. This is Madonna. It's Michael Bublé. And you're listening to the Pooja and Gurdip show. It's fun. They're amazing. The Pooja and Gurdip show presents. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. What? You are. Oh, many of you are. Turkey. You're doing turkey wrong. And I know like you're like, we're talking turkey now. In the U.S., of course, it's their U.S. Thanksgiving. So a lot of people are preparing turkey. And this recipe. That's a week from now, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. This recipe came out. So as we're looking ahead to Christmas and our own turkeys, that went viral because it involves wrapping your bird in a pillowcase. I'm sorry. That sounds super offside. <laughs> Just don't go into t- your linen closet. To, don't tell me how to wrap my bird. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your pillowcase, tear it in two, and then tear it in two. Yes, and then wrap your turkey in it, and you will have perfect turkey every time, according to this recipe. And people who have tested it and tried it swear by it. This is so wrong. <laughs> and you're telling me everyone is doing. Tur- you know how many people make turkey? You think everyone is doing well, turkey wrong except some TikTok hipsters? Do you know anyone who's used a pillowcase? So I'm going to say majority of you are not using a pillowcase. And if it's perfect every time, then you're doing it wrong. I don't know if I'm taking my bird advice from. Uh, <laughs> No offense, a vegetarian <laughs> who's never wrapped a bird okay. in a pillowcase or anything else for that matter. Okay, I read the recipe. This is how it works. Okay, you take your bird and you're going to do the normal thing that you would normally do with your, your bird. You're going to put butter on it and you're going to do all that. And then, and this one happens to have bacon on it as well. Then you take the pillowcase, you put it, you tear it in two, you put it around your bird, and then you saturate that pillowcase with the bird in it in this mixture of butter, wine, and chicken broth. And you you have to make sure it's saturated. It's fully fully saturated so that you, there's no fire. We don't want anything right. to happen. Yeah, this feels like a fire hazard. No, no, pillowcase no. in the oven. And then you continue basting it like you normally would. And each time just make sure that it's fully saturated. You keep going. And then you take off the pillowcase. And then you let it cook for another 10 minutes and let all the outside get nice and crispy. You take- and you'll get a perfect bird every time. I am not going to debate the marinades. The marinades sound terrific. Mm-hmm. I'm going to debate using something that you slept on <laughs> and that has all your, I don't care how many times you wash your pillowcase. It's got like pieces of you and skin flakes and things oh. like that. Oh, I why am, are you it, saying skin well, flakes? Well, that's what happens. We all shed skin when we sleep at night. You it's got germs. You took something and, delicious. Exactly. And you made it gross. I did. You're the one who's putting a wrap in my bird in my pillowcase. A new pillowcase. A new pillowcase. Oh, is it a clean one? Is it cotton? Is it cotton. linen? Is it silk? It's cotton. And look, a lot of people have tried the cheesecloth method, which one might argue you is... You probably should have led with cheesecloth. Well, it's the next best thing. However, people have tried both side by side, and the one in the pillowcase was better than the so cheesecloth So let's go shopping, one. buy a brand new pillowcase, and then destroy it. No, you know what the cleanest thing to do is? To buy the turkey bag, and you can put all that marinade in, and then put it in the it's turkey the bag, and it cooks the same. Well, not where the do same. We, where do we draw the line? Are we shoving our carrots in gloves? Are we putting potatoes in socks? <laughs> shoving those in the oven? Like... <laughs> Wait till I get started on the duvet cover that you're going to need <laughs> for everything else. From CHFI Studios, it's the Pooja and Gurdip Podcast. I don't know about this. Pooja's bringing us a hack. You pull off your old dirty pillowcase and throw it on your turkey <laughs> and then use it to cook your it's turkey. It's a clean one. Even still. And it's new. I don't know about this. It sounds very objectionable. It sounds like a mummy turkey. A murky. Yeah. Where do we draw the line? Can I just put my fitted sheet on my turkey and oh. throw that in then? I mean, you yeah. can't really knock it until you try it. How about a it. pillow sham? Okay. All right. I should know better than to bring you <laughs> hacks that have gone viral. Uh, let's go to Frankie Flowers from Breakfast Television. And, you know, what do you think about this whole pillowcase turkey thing? Not really. A pillowcase turkey? Yeah. Like, Sounds gross. What the heck? Like, that's really gross, especially yeah. if you use the pillowcase. <laughs> I mean, hopefully you don't use it afterwards. Also sounds like a fire hazard. <laughs> or it yeah. could be incredible because it smells like turkey. And, like, who doesn't love the smell of turkey? Not when you're sleeping. <laughs> well, then, you, yeah, you could be sleepy all the time. But, you know, really it's about if you want to cook it faster, you cook, you're you either stuffing, stuffing inside the turkey or stuffing outside the turkey. Okay. So if you want a faster cook, it, you make the stuffing outside the turkey. If you want a better stuffing with all that juice and everything, then you do the stuffing inside the turkey. Wow. Oh. Frankie, are you okay. usually the one who makes the turkey in your family? I do like to cook and I make it on occasion. Yeah. Uh, and then there's the turducken. You know the turducken, right? It's a turkey inside a duck, inside a chicken? Inside a quail. Inside a quail. Okay, I was in the ballpark. It sounds so wrong. Yeah. Like, sounds really wrong, but tastes so right. Kind of like life. Wow. <laughs> wow. I've yet to try that. What is the vegan equivalent or the vegetarian equivalent of that, Pooja? Tofu inside a soy, inside and some a tempeh? tempeh? Yeah. And then you put a... Like, 
That's amazing. Yeah, butternut squash inside of a beet. Yeah, but you got to make sure you cook <laughs> it in a pillowcase so that it smells like it afterwards. All, all beaten with an eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too much. Too many emojis. Yeah. Frankie Flowers. Yeah, exactly. You are the best, man. Thanks for doing this. And uh, You guys are just a peach. Another emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Frankie. See, see you, buddy. Bye, guys. Cheers. I ask you about pillowcases on your turkey, and then it goes sideways every time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, would you try this, and do you have a turkey hack, Jane and Ajax? An old Scottish friend of mine once said, when you're cooking your turkey, you're having drinks, so give the bird a drink, too. And you baste it with whiskey. Ooh. Ooh. Baste your turkey you, with whiskey. like the, any, any kind of whiskey or the t- top shelf? It doesn't matter what kind of whiskey. You just you baste it with whiskey. And cool. so you, the, the skin gets nice and brown and crispy, and the flavor is to die for. Wow. And you've tried this? Oh, yeah. We've tried. We do it every year now. A shot of whiskey for you, a shot of whiskey for the bird, a shot of whiskey for you. <laughs> Just like that. No, actually, I don't drink whiskey. I just drink, I just give it to the bird. Okay. This sounds like quite a Thursday. <laughs> it really is good. If you baste it with whiskey, it, it really turns out lovely. I love it, Jane. Thank you for that tip. Okay. Have a good day. Merry Christmas. Merry you Christmas, too. Jane. Hey, Pooja, just check TikTok. Your pillow hack has been replaced. You now put an old ugly Christmas sweater on your turkey and cook it. <laughs> That's the new one. Try that. Just wait till the theme parties begin right after. <laughs> That's what's going to follow. Uh, you laugh at me, but... Pillowcase on the turkey. Apparently, it's delicious. Gary from Uxbridge, what's your turkey trick? Good morning. Um, why is everybody trying to build a better mouse trap? <laughs> yeah, great I've question. Been, I've been cooking turkeys for 40 years. <laughs> and basically, I, what I do is I put a, a bacon weave on top of it, Ooh. and then I baste it every half an hour while it's cooking. Ooh. And it comes out perfect every time. And my kids are like vultures when it comes out of the oven because they want the pieces of bacon to come off. If it ain't broke, <laughs> why fix it? Is yeah. what you're saying, well, Gary. You, really, can, you can do the same thing. Just go to your bedroom, rip your pillowcase <laughs> off your pillow, and then know, just throw seriously. it on top of the bacon weave, and apparently it'll be better. Gary. Well, but then again, when I put the ba- when I put the pillowcase back on the pillow, the dog is going to love sleeping in my bed. <laughs> yeah, That's tryptophan to a new level when you're sleeping on it. Gary, you don't know what you coffee, don't know. Coffee the pooch will love you. <laughs> she will. Also, Gary, bacon weave sounds like a killer cover band <laughs> oh it is yeah oh. <laughs> wow Gary we love your laugh we love that you call us thank you you have a have a wonderful day I love you guys you're wonderful love you too buddy oh, okay bye bye <laughs> the Pooja and Gradeep podcast from 98.1 CHFI The 5050 Fortune, supporting food for kids. I've got an idea. Oh, no. I don't think you should come up with ideas, especially when you give me that look that you're giving me right now. Devilish? Yes, you're up to no good. Okay, before I give my idea, why don't you remind people about what we're doing here with the 5050? Well, what we're supposed to be doing is you're not supposed to be coming up with ideas. We're supposed to be talking about our 5050 lottery because... It is for such a great cause. Food for Kids is this charity that sneaks food into kids' backpacks so that they have food on the weekends. And imagine, you know, not knowing where your next meal is going to come from. You don't have the programs during the week, on the weekends, during the holidays. And this is where this charity comes in. And we are giving to them, but we're also giving to you where you can win a lot of cash. Yeah, this is a very rare win-win. You don't come across win-wins in life where everybody's winning. This is one of those, and you got to jump on these rare opportunities. So... Half of the jackpot will go to Food for Kids, this wonderful charity you just outlined. The jackpot's at $292,000 for for the charity and $292,000 for you. So the charity can get a lot of money, and you, if your number is drawn December 19th, will win this entire amount. Lotteries are tax-free in Canada, so you get that entire, that's life-changing money. It's almost $300,000. And you can buy tickets for as low as $10. Yeah, that's right. And if the best deal is $100, for, 100 t- for 500 tickets. Okay, so here's my idea to throw a little gas on the fire, Pooch. Okay. I'm putting you on the spot here, and I've only sort of half-baked this in my mind, so I'm going to depend on you The listening. best ideas are half-baked ideas. Absolutely. Everybody knows half-baked that. Half-baked ideas and shower thoughts. I've never <laughs> once seen the movie. All right, so I, if you know me, you know I like to color outside the lines. I like taking risks. You are very much a color inside the lines person, and you follow the rules. Mm-hmm. Uh I'm thinking since we play truth or dare and you always pick truth because you're hate, lame. I hate that game. I don't. I don't want to do dares. Yeah, I think we get Pooja to do something. Like let's let's say if we can raise like 
I don't know, what's the right number? 20 grand, 25 grand tomorrow during the Pujin Deep show. You will do a dare <laughs> next week on the show for everybody. Uh, who's coming up with this dare? This is what I'm going to depend on the people for. I told you it's half-baked. I haven't <laughs> come up with the dare, but here's what I need you to do if you're listening, if you're driving, if you're at home. If you're at a picnic, whatever. I need you <laughs> at a to text. That's right. Go with it. Text us right now at 981-981 and give us some ideas for what the dare should be. And it's got to be good. Something Pooja can do on the show that will elicit big time donations tomorrow oh, for this charity. No. Okay, listen. It's for charity. So I am going to be open-minded. Whatever you end up texting us, just make sure it's like something that, you know, is doable. Yeah. Like, what if I'm just thinking, like, uh, off the top of my head here, what if, like, uh, you have to wear my, like, smelly hockey equipment for an entire show? I'd do that. You for, would? For this charity, I would do that. Okay, never mind. Actually, yeah. no, that's terrible because then we just have to smell my. <laughs> and, no, okay, no, no. That's, you shouldn't see, come I up told with you, a dare. Half-bay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You text us at 981 981. <laughs> what would you like Pooja to do next week that is going to get a whole lot of money tomorrow donated on the show. Oh, I don't like this game, but I it's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. Take one for the team, Pooja guy. Okay. From CHFI Studios, it's the Pooja and Gurdip Podcast. Food for kids. We've got an amazing 50-50 right now where the total jackpot's $587,000, meaning $293,000 for the charity, $293,000 for you. They feed kids on weekends and holidays. It's a great cause. To drum up some support, throw a little gas on the fire, I have been asking you, we have been asking you, well, mostly me, <laughs> what should we dare Pooja to do uh, in order to get a bunch of money? What's the number we're saying? 10, 000, like, if we get $10,000 on tomorrow's show between 5 and 9 a.m., you will do blank. Yes, and I'm only agreeing to this because it's for the kids and it's for a great charity and they are very deserving of this money. And I'm trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone because my comfort zone, as you know, like we play truth or dare. I never pick dare. I don't want to be dared. I'll be honest. I sprung this on you earlier this morning. I thought you were going to say no off air. The fact that you're on board with it now, I kind of want to keep going and lock it down Uh, before you change your mind. You also kind of put me on the spot. This is true. I knew (laughs) if I asked you ahead of time, you would have said no. (laughs) So here's a bunch of your suggestions. Um, We will figure this out together. Jennifer uh, saying CN Tower Edge Walk. Oh, I have not done that, and I'm terrified. Of heights? That's yeah, not bad. That's actually not a bad one. Um, eat a California Reaper pepper. Ooh, the ghost chip? Yeah, no, thank you. Because that's just going to be, like, bad for the rest you of the show. You could do it as the last segment of the show, maybe, like at 8.50. Okay. Think about it. Mm. Uh, learn the entire Gangnam Style dance and perform it. I feel like you would enjoy that. I feel like I've already done that. Yeah. Been there, done that. Um, have Pooja sing opera? Oh, no, no. You like do more, not want me singing anything. More of a punishment for the rest of us. Yes. <laughs> uh, have Pooja run around the block singing Christmas carols? That's just a funny visual. That could be fun, uh-huh. but I feel like it's a little too easy. Oh, Anthony writing, have her change a tire, <laughs> which is my guess for the nearly impossible question every day because I don't know if anybody actually knows how to change a tire. I know there's people who do know how. I don't know how. I like that. That's that's, that's pretty good. Um have Pooja go in the elevator with people and start humming Deck the Halls while looking at them. <gasps> I'm already so awkward in the elevator. This um, would make it super awkward. Um, whatever we do, by the way, we're going to film it and put it all on social so that you can all see like Pooja actually did this. Yeah, has, there has to be proof. I, I say that we also come up with something that I can do in show so you know I'm doing it in real yes. time. Ooh, eat a bacon cheeseburger. You're a vegetarian. You're a fam- noted vegetarian. Would you oh. eat a bacon cheeseburger for charity? Oh. Come on. For $10,000 for the charity, yeah, I would do Come it. Yeah, Pooja I would do has it. to eat a hot dog wrapped in a banana peel while doing a TikTok dance. Whoa, what? whoa, whoa. What? That's too much. What? That's too much. I, I love that one of the suggestions for a dare is a somersault because what? they don't even believe I can do a somersault because I'm bad maybe, at everything. Maybe we should mix that in. Pooja has to speak like Gurdip all show, i.e., Five hunch, soups delish. Oh no! All show. That's torture mm. and way too much thinking. I would argue it's uh, an upgrade. Oh, this uh, one's a good one. Pooja should be Gurdip and can't be Gurdip. Gurdip asks the questions and Pooja and a contestant play. Okay, we absolutely have to incorporate that as part of it. Keep your suggestions coming. What should Pooja do for the Food for Kids fifty fifty fortune? Buy your tickets right now at chfi dot com. Keep them coming. The Pooja and Gurdip podcast. This is the Pooja and Gurdip Podcast. So we are so proud that we've partnered with uh, Food for Kids, this amazing charity 
that feeds kids on weekends, nutritious meals, holidays, um, basically any time outside of the lines of Monday to Friday, right? Yeah. The, the times maybe we you don't think about it, the stuff we took for granted as a kid because we always had food on weekends. We were lucky. This is such a wonderful charity, and uh, the jackpot is well over $300,000 now, but we threw down the gauntlet. We put, we put the challenge out to you. If we can raise $10,000 today on the Pooj Deep Show, so we started counting at 5 a.m., at 9 a.m., we'll see if we've raised 10000 Pooj, you have generously agreed to dress up for an entire show next week as my dog, Coffee the Pooch. <laughs> I still can't believe that I've agreed to this. I still have to look for a costume. I have to make sure that I can, like, you know, replicate Coffee the Pooch. But now, on top of it, you're like, it's not enough to just dress up. You want to take it a step further. You want me to do things in character as Coffee the Pooch. Well, it's only because we got so many great suggestions from people yesterday as to what you should do. So I'm like... We love the coffee, this pooch suggestion. So we took that one as the overarching theme. Okay. Also, coffee has to approve of your costume, by the way. Of course. Um, But we got so many other good ones. We're like, why don't, in each segment, you're dressed as coffee, but why don't you do something within each segment just to keep it interesting? Just so that I'm clear, when I'm in character as coffee, the pooch, am I like, is that in character? Or am I like, daddy, stop? I think you you throw in the odd, like, or or if you want, but you can't do that the whole show because you have to talk to me. You you, you can't just talk dog the whole time. Okay. Yeah, you have to talk like, daddy. And then are you going to talk to me the way you talk to Coffee the Pooch in your baby voice? When you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Are you going to do that? I might. Depending <laughs> on how cute the costume is. Yeah. I might actually rub your belly, which oh, is like no. HR. No, no, no. Um, no, no. Okay, okay. So some of the other things we do can do. Do not dis- take me for a walk. <laughs> do not take me for a walk. Yes. Do And yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to say something, but I won't. Um, there's some other great suggestions. We can do these within, we can do these within the show. Like, uh. There's like have Pooja sing opera. That can be one of the segments. Oh my goodness. Uh, As po- Coffee the Pooch? Have Pooja do a somersault. I mean, that would just be fun to see you do that <laughs> as Coffee the Pooch. Uh, well, we have a tradition here on Fridays. We have Breakfast Sandwich Friday where we all yep. treat ourselves to some breakfast and coffee and we all take turns paying. It could be my day as Coffee the Pooch and I have to go in costume and order all I of our... I love that. And like deadpan, dead serious. We're going to film you as well. And you we're can... going to film it? Yeah, we're... of course we're going to film it. People on social have to see it. And you want me to be serious? Oh, don't tell me I have to be in character to order a double-double. I can't be like, rrr, rrr, double-double. We'll, we'll leave like, that interpretation like, uh, to you. Excuse me, I need a double-double for my daddy. <laughs> I, oh no! <laughs> okay, yes, that. Oh, no. What she just did that. Oh no! I think that's more embarrassing than being in costume. But okay. And my friend Stefan Blair. <laughs> Blair likes sweetener. And just like just a little bit. And then <laughs> you can woof in between. <laughs> I, I like this one too. Go. Uh, someone texted in. Go into the elevator with people and start humming "Deck the Halls" while looking at them. Like seriously. Oh come on. And the, okay, here's when we have to run by you. I think one segment should be: You are a noted vegetarian. Would you be comfortable, all in the name of charity, would you be comfortable with, like, let's say we ordered a bacon cheeseburger. I'm not going to say you have to eat the whole thing. Would you be comfortable with taking a hearty bite of a bacon cheeseburger for charity? If that was just the dare, yes. But the fact that I'm dressing up, no, 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 we're not adding that. You got to ask yourself, what would coffee do? Oh, no, then I'm eating kibble. Yeah. (laughs) What about treats? And then you teach her how to sit and give a paw. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is starting (laughs) to border on some weird territory. Oh, no. Would you rather eat one piece of coffee's kibble or a bite of a bacon cheeseburger? Well, obviously, I'm going to go with the bacon cheeseburger. Oh, vegetarians are disappointed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> At least kibble is vegan. I am already regretting doing this, but it is for a good cause. It's all about the kids and feeding the kids. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a team player. Okay, but remember, none of this happens unless we raise $10,000 today between 5 and 9. Mm-hmm. Go to chfi.com. Get your ticket if you want to see this happen. Oh, and don't forget, you also get the chance to win more than $300,000 for yourself by buying a ticket. There's also Blue Jays and Leafs, early bird prizes, signed jerseys, Coldplay tickets. Go get your tickets right now at chfi.com. Let's make this happen. From CHFI Studios, it's the Pooja and Gurdip Podcast. Ooh, we got some good news. Oh, dear. Not only did we hit, we sailed past the $10,000 total. This number is going up every single time I refresh it. Pooch, we have hit the goal. You are going to be dressing as Coffee the Pooch, uh, one of the shows next week. We said if we could raise $10,000 in our show, I would take on this dare. And now it's taken on a life of its own with all of you writing in with all the other things I should be doing while dressed up as Coffee the Pooch. You guys are the best, not only with your creativity, but your generosity as well. Uh, Thank you so much for all these suggestions. Lori in Brampton, what do you think? Well, I think that you should be doing something also. Thank you, Lori. (laughs) 
Thank you. Because it is the Pooj and Gurdip show, correct? Okay, mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, Lori. I don't want to take Pooja's thunder away, but if this all works out, if we hit 10K and Pooja knocks it out of the park next week, uh, I I may may volunteer myself as the next tribute. How's that? You'll do a dare? I'll, I'll do a whole, we'll do the whole thing again. Uh, if if it all goes well for you and we can hit 10K, how's that? Okay. Okay, Lori, I, I love that you called and said this because I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm doing it for the kids. Why aren't you doing it for the kids? That's right. Yes. Well, let's okay. not put the you cart know? before the horse, but I'm saying there's a chance. There's a chance. Yeah. Okay, Lori, thank you for okay. inspiring that. Thanks, Lori. And I also did my, uh, got my ticket. And if I win the money... I'm also going to donate some to the food, Toronto Food Bank and the Brampton Food Bank. So good. I love, love that. that. You know what? Let me take this opportunity to say I also bought my tickets, and I'm turning it into a 75-25, not a 50-50. If I win, I'm yep. donating half of what I win back to Food for Kids as well. Nice. Yep. That's wow. awesome. Look at love the generosity. It. I love it. Lori, thank you for the call. You're very welcome. Have a great weekend. Okay. So what am I, What else am I doing? Uh, well, the main thing is we got to find you a dog costume that oh, looks yes. like Coffee the Pooch. Yes. Okay. So if anybody knows where I can get one or maybe you're a costume store and you sell one, reach out. 981-981. I'd love to get my hands on one because it looks like this is happening next week. It's happening next week. We'll let you know. It won't be Monday. We'll let you know on Monday once we figure out all the logistics which day next week this is happening. But in the meantime, keep your donations coming. You can win over $315,000 in this 50-50 draw and for great cause, go to CGFI.com. And thank you for helping us get to 10000 Thanks for listening to the Pooja and Gurdip podcast. Listen to Pooja and Gurdip live weekday mornings from 5 to 9. Only on 98.1 CHFI. Toronto's perfect music mix.